In today's video, I'll show you how to connect your mic to FL Studio. So I'm using a condenser microphone and a USB audio interface. The interface is key here as you'll want to go and download the drivers for your interface. FL Studio uses the ACO for all audio drivers, but you still want to go and download the official drivers for your interface. For me, that will be the M-Track Solo drivers from M Audio's website. Once your drivers are installed, you will go to FL Studio. Head over to Options, Sound Settings, Device. Now I avoid the FL Studio ASIO or ACO when using my interface. If I am just going to make beats internally or just listen back through my TV's monitors, it's fine. Otherwise, I'll opt for ACO for all or my M Audio drivers. Now, let's head into the ACO panel. Make sure that your mic or interface is selected in here. You can also set your buffer size in here. Set it as low as 128 for low latency recording. Set it higher if your PC can't handle it. Now, in the master, you can see your device. We need to test if everything is working. So go to insert one and where it says none, select your interface or mic. When this message pops up, click yes. Next stop is to arm the recording at the bottom. So here you can see we are armed, but there's no sound on our meter. That's because I'm using a condenser microphone plugged into line one of my interface. I need to switch on phantom power. Every interface is different, but mine has a switch on the front. And once I've switched it on, we have all kinds of sound coming through. Yours might be on the back or on the top. Take note that you can route your audio tracks to one another. So if you still don't have sound, it's possible that whatever insert you are recording in is not routed to the master. Got double vocals while recording? That's because you are routed to the master and another insert. Perhaps you've got effects on one insert and what you should be doing is unrouting from the master and routing to your effects channel leaving the effects channel routed to the master. If your vocals are only recording in one ear, in the left or right ear, you shouldn't be recording in stereo, but you should be recording in mono. If you require any more help with setting up your mic in FL Studio or just anything FL related, chat with us down in the comments. For the FL veterans, feel free to share your knowledge in the comment section too. Thanks for watching. Drop us a like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And finally, but not at all less important, have an amazing night.